At Eureka College, there's a garden which is dedicated to that school's most famous alumnus, who in 1982 gave a commencement address which some say was the beginning of the end of the Cold War. The monument was recently dedicated on May 9, 2000, the 18th anniversary of the famous speech that Ronald Reagan gave here on this uh, campus in 1982. On that day, he would deliver a speech whose impact would end the SALT initiative and change U.S. strategic policy with regard to nuclear weapons. But I believe that it will be possible to reduce the risks of war by removing the instabilities that now exist and by dismantling the nuclear menace. What Reagan did in 82 is he introduced the START initiative, Strategic Arms Reduction Talks. That speech has been credited by many as marking the beginning of the end of the Cold War. By the end of the 1980s, when we saw what was happening in the world, when we saw the changes that had come about, the eventual end of the Soviet, uh, the collapse of the Soviet Union, end of the Cold War, it was easier at that point to go back and look at the 82 speech and see that the things that President Reagan was talking about then had eventually come to pass. The uh, bust is 33 inches tall. It uh, tries to capture the essence of President Reagan, in particular capturing the, uh, the power of his smile and the sense of optimism that he brought to the nation in the 1980s. Engraved on the pedestal are several quotes from that historic address, including this wish for the future. I hope the commencement today will also mark the commencement of a new era, a new start toward a more peaceful and secure world. We see here a circular area in the garden, a circle representing the earth. We see the various plants that are here, the various flowers, including the patriot hosta, the marine tulips, things that uh, work on a red, white, and blue color scheme, representing the garden that is the earth. Uh, it's a celebration here, a commemoration of peace, of the earth, of the power and endurance of the earth and of mankind. In addition to the uh, bust of the president, the pedestal that stands in the center, the garden also includes a section of the Berlin Wall, which was given to Eureka College as a gift by the German government. We're only one of three colleges and universities in the United States to have received such a gift from the German government. The section of the wall that we were given stands five feet tall, it's four feet wide, weighs 2,200 pounds. And in front of the uh, section of the wall is a marker that identifies it as being part of the Berlin Wall, but also includes the very famous quotation, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. That you see a bust of President Reagan that immediately uh, to, the, uh, to the side from that bust stands the Berlin Wall. To see the power of those words, I think, represents uh, a strong historical message. Nearby, Eureka College maintains a museum that traces the president's life from his boyhood years to the White House. Yet the garden is a more reflective reminder of Reagan's accomplishments. Its tranquil setting stands in contrast to the harsh reality in which the speech was born, a time when one country was divided by a concrete wall and nuclear war was a very real threat and we celebrate the work that President Reagan did in the 1980s to, uh, to foster an end to the, uh, the crisis that had threatened the world through most of the second half of the 20th century.